Hi, welcome to story time. Um, I'm just going to read you a story. You can see it on the screen with me at the moment as well. So it's called Harold's Worst Nightmare. What do you think this story could be about? What we're going to do is we're going to read through it once. Um, once we've read through the story, um, I'm going to sort of read through it again, but I'm going to pause every now and again to ask you some questions. And what I'd like you to do is to, uh, if you've got someone in the room with you, sort of see if you can actually respond to them, let them know what you think the answer is. Um, also, um, what you can do is you have a little look in your folder and there will be some work that is related to this story as well for us to share. So anyway, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to make it so that you can see the story full screen and we will go through and begin reading. So Harold's Worst Nightmare. I wonder what Harold's Worst Nightmare is going to be. Okay, so this is the title page. Um, and what it does is it tells us um, about the story again. So it gives us the author and it actually uh, gives us the title of the story and normally a nice little um, uh, sort of uh, picture illustration in there as well. Harold was the luckiest cat in the world. His life was perfect. Harold loved the playtime. Harold loved nap time. Harold loved dinner time. And Harold loved snuggle time. One day the humans brought home a box. Harold loved boxes. But as Harold got closer, something strange happened. What do you think could be in the box? The box made a noise. Meow. The humans opened the box and inside was... So, what do we think? Guys, I know I said I was going to go through it all the way around, but if I go through past this point, so what do you think is in the box? What could possibly be inside the box? Okay, I'm going to give you just a few moments just to have a little think. Maybe call out, shout at the computer screen, the phone screen, the TV screen, whatever it is that you're watching on, what you think could be inside the box. Remember, there is a clue on the picture as well. And on the picture, you can see it saying, meow. What animal do you know that says meow? The most awful thing Harold had ever seen. Another cat, a tiny kitten, Harold's worst nightmare. Harold doesn't look very pleased, does he? Muffin ruined playtime. Muffin ruined nap time. Maff Muffin ruined dinner time. And Muffin ruined snuggle time. That when night came, the humans put Muffin to bed. Finally, Harold could be by himself. He found a spot that Muffin couldn't reach. Can you all see where Harold is? I wonder what Muffin is thinking. But Harold couldn't sleep. He could hear a very sad, very small noise. Harold looked down at Muffin. She looked so tiny and lonely. Meow. Suddenly, Harold remembered being that little and feeling scared. He crept down from his hiding place. Harold snuggled, snuggled up next to Muffin. Soon, they both fell asleep. The next day, Harold taught Muffin how to play nicely. How to nap properly. <laughs> Just looking at the computer. And how to eat politely. In the afternoon, Harold and Muffin both found a perfect spot for snuggle time. Maybe having Muffin around wouldn't be so bad after all. The end. Okay. So... 
we have a little look at the blurb on the back of the book, um, we can see, whoop, there you go, we can see that um, what it does is it says, there we go, Harold the Cat likes things just the way they are. One day a new arrival changes everything. Can Harold learn to share his home? What do you think? Do we think that Harold learned to share his home? Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to go back through the book and then we are going to have a read again. Okay, so Harold's worst nightmare. So first question for you is, can you remember what it was that was Harold's worst nightmare? What was it that happened that was his worst nightmare? I thought when I saw this that it was going to be getting all caught up and tangled up in the string and I thought that Harold had done that all by himself but actually I think it was somebody else. So that's a little look. So Harold was the luckiest cat in the world. His life was perfect. Have a little look at this picture. How many different toys can you see for Harold to play with? So how many different toys can you see for Harold to play with? I can see a mouse. There's a little thing for chasing with feathers on the end. There's a fish, there's a ball, and there's a big ball of wool as well, isn't there? So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five things, five toys for Harold to play with. Harold loved playtime. Harold loved nap time. Harold loved dinner time and Harold loved snuggle time. Which one of those things do you think would be your favourite if you were Harold? Which one would be your favourite? One day the humans brought home a box. Harold loved boxes. But as Harold got closer, something strange happened. Who can remember what it was that happened? What is Harold about to hear? The little box made a noise. Can we all do the noise together? Ready? One, two, three. Meow. That's good, isn't it? Should we try again? Ready? One, two, three. That's some really good meowing I can hear there. Fantastic. The humans opened the box and inside was the most awful thing Harold had ever seen. Another cat, a tiny kitten, Harold's worst nightmare. Why do you think the tiny cat might be Harold's worst nightmare? Interesting. Yeah, this is the really good thing about stories as well, is that actually you can listen to the story, you can look at the pictures and you can think for yourself, what do I think is the correct answer to this? And you know what? With a story, lots and lots of it, especially when we get onto ones later on that don't have lots of pictures inside, a lot of it is down to our imagination. That's what makes them so brilliant. Muffin ruined playtime. Muffin ruined nap time. Muffin ruined dinner time. And Muffin ruined snuggle time. Who do we think Muffin is? Who could Muffin be? Yeah, I think so too. I think Muffin is the kitten. And can anyone remember the cat's name? Harold. Yes, yeah, so we've got Muffin the kitten and Harold the cat. When night came, the humans put Muffin to bed. Finally, Harold could be by himself. He found a spot that Muffin could reach, or couldn't reach, sorry. So he found a spot that Muffin couldn't reach. So if you have a little look, Muffin's down the bottom there, isn't he? 
So small and so tiny. Harold looks very pleased with his spot at the top there. But can you remember what happened next? How did Harold start to feel? So he heard the little cat going, and it made Harold feel, let's have a look. Harold couldn't sleep. He could hear a very sad, very small noise. Harold looked down at Muffin. She looked so tiny and lonely. Can you remember what Muffin, or sorry, what Harold did next? Suddenly, Harold remembered being that little and feeling scared. He crept down from his hiding place. Harold snuggled up next to Muffin. Soon, they both fell asleep. Can we both do that? Or can we all do that? So we'll pretend to be asleep. Ready? <laughs> the next day, Harold taught Muffin how to play nicely, how to nap properly, and how to eat politely. In the afternoon, Harold and Muffin both found the perfect spot for snuggle time. They look very happy, don't they? Maybe having Muffin around wouldn't be so bad after all. Oh, and you can see the little love heart, can't you? That's there. And so, oh, I think, yeah, and the, the little mouse toy has moved slightly as well, hasn't it? So they all look very happy, don't they? And I bet the adults are very relieved as well. So there you go. So that is the end of our story. So don't forget, um, there will be some extra um, sort of resources for you um, related to this story in the um, work folders. Um, have a little look at it. If you need to, um, you can come back to the YouTube video and you can have me read through the story to you once again. Okay, have a good rest of the day and have, if you're watching this on Friday when it was released, a really good weekend. Thank you. Thank you.